Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplify Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you how to play the song Peace by Josh Baldwin. As always, I'm going to play through the song for you first, and at the end I'll explain it to you in more detail, so make sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song. In the land of my heart In the fathoms of my soul When the waters of my fears begin to rise I feel your love take In the valley of my mind On the road of the unknown When the shadows of my doubts are closing in You are the light that brings me home But I can feel it Every waking moment In your presence This peace won't let me go There is freedom Your kindness that will lead me to your arms Where I find grace that you supply When I breathe in I don't understand but I can feel it Every waking moment at your presence This peace won't let me go There is freedom Laying all my worries At your feet again Even struggle I'm surrendering your peace won't let me go surely goodness and mercy will follow me surely all that you promised so much more than I can see I will rest in the assurance That I have all I need Here in the Father's peace When I breathe in I don't understand Every waking moment in your 
So for this song, I'm going to be using four chords from the C chord family. I'm going to be using the C chord, the G chord, A minor 7, and F over C. Now even though these chords are part of the C chord family, because I'm going to be playing them with my capo on the third fret, I'm actually going to be playing in the key of D sharp or E flat. So when you're playing in the C chord family, you need to pay attention to where the root note of the chord is. So for instance, um, if I play the C chord or the A minor 7 chord, both of those chords, the root note is going to start on the A string. So I need to start my strumming on that A string. Whether you're using just fingers to strum or you're using a pick, you need to start your strumming on that A string for the C chord and for the A minor 7 chord. If I'm playing the G chord or the E minor chord, both of those chords I can use all six strings. I can start my strumming on that low E string, that's where my root note of those chords are going to be. Although for this song we're not using the E minor chord, so we don't have to worry about that. And then when we play the F over C chord, we want to start our strumming on the D string. So we're going to avoid the low E string and the A string, and we're going to start our strumming on that D string. That's where our F note is going to be. For strumming, I'm going to be using the driving pattern, which is a nice, simple four beat strum pattern. We're going to have four down strums with an up strum added after beat four. We want to make sure to put emphasis on beat one and three. That's going to be every other beat we want to strum harder. So I'm just going to hold the C chord and play through that strum pattern slowly so that you can hear what it should sound like. One, two, three, four, and 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 one. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.